All right, under the hood here, we've got a Ford Racing 351. Now this is a new Ford crate motor. Uh, this one uses a Ford SVO aluminum heads, uh, aluminum intake manifold, has an MSD built distributor. Uh, it's got actually a specially prepped quadrajet carburetor. Now this quadrajet works awesome off-road, just incredibly tuned for off-road use. It doesn't flood when it gets off angle, and it is one of the easiest starting carburetors around. Actually starting it, it I drove it home, started up, it was dead cold outside. It was probably about, you know, 30 degrees. Touch the you know, just touch the ignition, boom, it fired right up, ran perfectly. Okay, this truck just has features. It's just kind of crazy how many this one has. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just show you what the uh, rear bumper setup does. Uh, what this would do, this would hold a fuel tank right here. Uh, so basically be like a five gallon jerry can would fit real well there. And also a cooler or whatever else you would like was strapped right up here. What you can do is just basically pull this lever. The unit comes out and it actually locks in place. There's a lock here. Uh, same thing for the spare tire. Basically open it up, comes out, locks in place. Uh, this unit here has got a uh, high lift jack that's attached in here. Basically just unscrew this unit, comes right off. For the uh, rear hatch, it's got hydraulic lifts, which are a real nice setup to have. So you're not, and sometimes you're trying to get it up here, you're in a hole and you can't quite latch it. That fixes all that. So you open it up and there you are. It's nice. All right, inside this Bronco, again, there's just tons and tons of options. Uh, done really well. Uh, former owner owned a body shop, did the paint and body work himself. Uh, kind of carries through. You can take a look. Nice paint in the jams. That silver on the dash done very, very nice. Uh, replete with options. Uh, if you look, it has the uh, tilt column in that with the matching polished steering wheel. It has leather wrap setup, so it feels really nice in your hand. If you look at the dash, there's a nice CD player placed inside there. Just underneath the steering column there, you can see the setup for the ARB air locker system. Works really nice. So for that switch on that ARB, you'll see right underneath the dash there. If you do want to use the air compressor setup, all you do is you hit the charge button on the right that turns the compressor on. And on the passenger side of the vehicle, there's actually a tank that's a reservoir, so you can use that. So that's where you would actuate that. Uh, right next to that, there's a little tack underneath the dash, kind of helps keep control of what's going on if you're out on the trail, sometimes in that ultra low range. Uh, engine RPMs can happen a lot faster than you think, so it's kind of nice to have something you can watch that with. Okay, so that combination of that NV transmission and that Atlas transfer case just gives you a tremendous uh, ratio. If you want to go out rock climbing, rock crawling, whatever you want to do, you can set that a very, very capable setup. Moving from there, we've got a nice cage in it. Uh, this one comes up just in front of the driver and the passenger. What that does is, it, God forbid you're ever in an accident, uh, a lot of guys just have a standard roll bar, and what would happen is that whole windshield pillar would just kind of collapse in on you if you didn't have something forward of that. Uh, this is a nice setup. You've got a double bar uh, set up in the very center that supports it rather than one on the outside. Uh, taller guys with the bars on the outside basically that run from this panel over to this panel here end up hitting their head every time they get in and out of it. Uh, so it's a nice setup. It actually comes back at a good angle so you can run that bikini top if you want to. Um, so really nice roll bar. Again, everything in here is just very functional. Uh, the seats, these units are the sport seats from Tom's Broncos. Uh, they work great. These ones will recline fully so we can go ahead and just push this and come all the way back. Um, you can also set these set up, well they'll come back so even the tallest of drivers can fit in this very well. In back there's a fold and tumble seat which we've got some good uh, shots of that one. It's really a must have for that fold and tumble in back. It allows you to use all that area as well as have headrests for uh, younger passengers.